So welcome back to our case and in this video i'm going to show you how can you unlock the icloud lock for iphones ipads and ipods so here it is uh, this is iphone 6 in my hand and it's uh, stuck on the apple logo apple id screen so it's asking for the apple id and the password to bypass that screen so it's asking for that apple id and password so uh, so Today in this video, I'm going to show the best and the easiest way to bypass or unlock this screen with the DMS file method. So basically for that, you uh, require the IMEI number of your uh, iPhone or iPads, whatever you have, you require the email. So you can get it from here. That is IMEI number, ICC ID, MI ID number. You can get every details from here only so from that information you require to note it down in a um, somewhere or you can also click the pick of that as well we, we have to use it for we required while unlocking that device process so make sure to uh, do that and after that let's start the process how can you do that so basically you require also require to download um a from dms file which you can download from the given link below the description i have given that link and that will work for all the devices but you require a specific um, details of your iphones like imei number uh, and meid number you can get it like that so after that let's simply uh, connect that in the iflash drive and simply connect the iflash drive with your iphone and let's start the process so first of all in the apple id just to give normal apple id and make sure it must be more than 125 uh, alphabets including one in the upper one alphabet in the uppercase and remaining you can use same as it is make sure you it was more than 125 alphabets Okay, it's done now. After that, you require to use the MEID number of your phone. And after that, you require to use that. serial number of your device make sure to do exactly same as it is after using 100 to 120 alphabets you require to give me id and the serial number of your device and after that you require to use at icloud.com and the, in the password you can use the same one in the uppercase and remaining in the same uh, as it is you can use in the password um, uh, the alphabets numeric and special characters and all must be above 125 characters alphabets or characters you can say okay
Hmm. Okay, now let's see. You can see it's taking a little bit time. Okay, so now you have to do it from again from start over. And now in that case, you require to use the Roman language. Same again. Now this is the important part of um, that. So in the Apple ID, you require to use MEID number. Then serial number of your device. And again after the Apple ID uh, serial number and then after the at last you have to use the IMEI number of your device and then at the bottom at the rate our tech is dot com outtakes.com and now in the password you can use um, use the password above 125 uh, characters or alphabets and make sure you are using the numeric alphabets and numeric and special characters everything okay now let's try okay it's something uh, it's still uh, something it's not okay so again use the password make sure to use uppercase alphabets uh, character alphabets with one uppercase and remaining in the numeric and remaining in the special characters and again use this alphabet Okay, now let's try. Okay, me 
one second verify thing I have to again verify the um, uh, ID SN and IMEI number that it is correctly given or not so if not then that may be the reason it was not working so let's see once One is given wrong. Okay, now it's corrected. Okay, make sure to you uh, you are using the correct MEID and the IME number. If it's uh, it's if it's wrong or something uh, like it's mistaken or something. It will not work so make sure to use the correct EMI, EMI, EMI ID and serial number so let's do again after correcting that okay let's see okay it's giving that let's try again okay here it is directly jump on the data and privacy screen so you can now restart and you can change the language setting and let's see is it working or not now set up manually okay it is directly bypassed the iCloud lock screen now completely bypassed you can remove the iFlash drive and it's completely bypassed to data and privacy screen now you can set up your iCloud using the thing don't use touch ID don't use passcode you can set all that as it is normal don't transfer data agree continue continue not now
okay here it is welcome to um, iPhone so that's it uh, this is for this video so this is it uh, you can see how can you unlock the uh, iCloud lock for iPhones and this is the same method you can use for iPods and iPads as well and it's 100% working till 2020 October 2020 you can see so if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thanks for watching this